Welcome to Hydra World. So if you don't know, tomorrow the test server for Season 5 in Diablo 4 is releasing. And this gives us the option to test new builds. And my favorite skill in all of the Diablo universe, 2, 3, 4, whatever you call it, né, is Hydra on the Sorcerer. And we might not get like a specific unique or a legendary for Hydra in the next uh, season, but we are getting temperings that could be really interesting for Hydra. We can put now extra heads onto our Hydra. We have the option to get extra lucky hit chance onto our Hydra. And I think even without a specific unique or legendary aspect to that, this is enough to make a Hydra build work. I will be dedicating my time on the test server to figure out how Hydra can be made possible. Because you do have to solve things like how to get tanky with that, especially with the upcoming ice armor changes. Né? How do you turn Hydra, which have great single target DPS, into AoE damage for a decent clear speed? And of course, you have to figure out like the average stuff like resources and all of that. And while we are on the test server for one week, starting from tomorrow, I will also be recording all the infernal hordes that I'm doing. And I've prepared a spreadsheet to collect all the data for you. And I will be releasing a guide, a specific guide on infernal hordes, like how to do it, what's the best gain per hour, what are the best chests to open. All of that will come. And if you do not want to miss it, and you do not want to be one of the 98.9% .9 of the players that are not subscribed to the channel. I highly recommend subscribing now and getting in for as soon as the new Infernal Hordes guide is hitting. And since I'm working full time and only have a few hours after work, I will be focusing only on the Hydra build. And I've already put a couple of thoughts into um, the problems that we have to solve. And um, one thing is going to be how the Hydra can be dealt into like single damage only into um, AoE damage. And one of the tempers that we are able to do is a Hydra lucky hit chance increase. And I was thinking, oh, interesting, because the Andariel's Visage is having an AoE hit with a decent damage. It just got buffed in the recent patch. So how about we are procking? Andariel's Visage with all the heads of all of our Hydras, seeing if this can turn the single target DPS into an AoE DPS that is viable. When we are doing this, we need to get some form of tankiness. I have not figured out yet how we're going to do it, because I first want to see if the changes to Ice Armor make it a viable option or not, because if you don't know, the changes to Ice Armor are that you cannot refill the barrier while it's active. So you have to let, let the barrier run out and then you have to refresh a new barrier instead of like stacking that barrier. Another thing that um, we are solving if you're taking Andariel's Visage, one of the best damage multipliers is Tarasha where you need four unique sources and we are getting three poison damage from here, allowing us to go four offensive Hydra temperings onto our weapons. I am not sure yet if it's one hand or two hand cause offhand now got the removal of the cooldown reduction on the as the main stat. So we have to see if offhand um, is still viable because you can still roll the cooldown reduction on it or if that nerf is so hard that you ever want to have like one aspect double dipping or i also don't know about hydra will if i put the serpentine aspect on the uh, um on the staff will i get double will this basically make the build required to be two-handed i don't know we will find it out we are also having an enchantment here after spending 200 mana of five-headed hydra spawns for five seconds is that fixed is it always only five-headed or can we boost the heads of that additional spawning Hydra as well? Because then we might have options of um, not actually having Hydra as an item on our list as a skill. Because maybe we are just having something where we can spend the most amount of mana. Yeah? 
and the only thing we're doing is like going through our mana spenders and popping out those hydras all the time so i think there's many different interactions that we still have to test and figure out to make it work but we got one week even though i only have time after work it should still be enough to theory craft a decent build that everyone can play start playing at the start of the season and then while the season evolves of course i will also update the build top quality throughout the whole season because i do not have the time to do like multiple builds multiple classes another thing i also want to check is the fractured winter class because um do we want to have a frozen orb in there as like an active casting spell maybe not maybe yes i am not sure yet but the, just the lucky hit that your conjurations can throw a frozen orb at nearby enemies can give us the option to like have a really decent um, vulnerable uptime on an AoE. Because if we're going into the skill tree here and we are looking at, um, at this one, that frozen orb has a chance to make all enemies hit vulnerable. So we would not only have like the single target vulnerability that we are able to reach um, with our ice plates, no, we would also have the option to keep the whole AOE for the Undaviled's Visage at vulnerable. So, like somewhere in between of that, yeah, there will be like somewhere in there, there will be like the, the real build that is going and we have to figure find it. And we can do that together. And another thing we want to check out is actually here the, uh, the notes. Cause what um we are having here in no, not like the elemental one that's going on to under con our onto our conjurations of course but the enchantment master because your enchantments are 20 percent stronger and maybe there's some interesting interactions with um with the hydra enchantment here like how are the 20 percent um sent working will it be reducing the mana will it increase the amount of hats the hydra has will it apply this effect only on those five heads or maybe are we getting all of our heads on there and then another 20 percent increase so there's still so many questions open that i hope to answer tomorrow and yeah if you want to join me here on youtube live i will start the stream tomorrow at about six o'clock in the evening and we will go about four hours until i'm sleepy and of course i will be releasing the full guide and the spreadsheet and the for like uh, cast breakpoints and all of that like everything that the guide has will be released on the channel and if you are now also curious to test out certain things on the test server let me show you quickly how you can download it so if you are in your battle net and you will go down here where it says diablo 4 if you click that little arrow you will go to the public test realm right here the ptr server and then you have the option i already downloaded it but do you have the option to actually download it here now and then you are already set for tomorrow and maybe one note which is interesting is that um, your characters were copied so you will not start from zero you will actually be having be able to play the characters that you have which were i think taken the data from from last Thursday, so you should have a decent progress. And for the people that have never been on a test server, tomorrow I will also upload a guide on how to use all the mechanics on the test server, like boosting, getting all your needs easy so you do not have to farm the stuff. And you can actually test the characters and the uniques and the interactions fairly quickly. Cheers, guys. Uh -huh.